I thought Ekblad did not have a good game one. I thought he was one of the best players last night on the ice. Mm-hmm. And then you throw in the chokehold, too, which was... <laughs> That was a tough night for Bouchard. That was another thing we were talking about. Like, he yeah. gets a primary assist on the Rodriguez goal where yeah. I, I don't recall the last time someone just said, here, tape to tape, and next thing you know, it's in the back of the net. And I don't recall the last time someone was trying to tap out outside of an octagon in the UFC. <laughs> that was because like a tap out. Ekblad move. was choking him out where he's like, "You please, you have to stop here. I'm actually well, going to pass out here. He couldn't breathe. Like, I, I don't know if you guys have ever been in a tussle at a bar or oh, anything yeah, where somebody's grabbed worst. you. Like, the, the That's rear the bouncer naked move. choke. I got a, a bouncer. One time at Squires at, at a bar in Edmonton, mm-hmm. guy grabbed me from behind. I was just standing there. I was watching a fight, but I think he thought I was in it. I almost, I, I went limp. Like, I, oh, I don't yeah. know what you're supposed to do. It's terrifying, man. I had the same thing. I was wearing a hat. I was told multiple times not to wear a hat. This club called Tonic <laughs> downtown. <laughs> and finally, like the third time, the guy just didn't ask. He just literally choked me out, dragged me out. I was probably like 16, too. Isn't I wasn't supposed to be there. It's oh, it so was scary. terrible. It was terrible. Um, and that's <laughs> what I, I know what Bouchard was <laughs> thinking last night. He's like, I'm going to pass out here. Like, we're, there's 20,000 people here. I'm on the ice. And I didn't love, again, game within the game, the fact that he just kind of turned around and said, hey, don't do that anymore. Like, yeah. it was 3-1. at that. Like, why are you not hacking or whack? Why isn't someone coming over there and late in a beating on Ekblad or doing something to Ekblad? Yeah, And it just was as if the Oilers, outside of dry settle on Barkov, which was really greasy, he's not going to get suspended. I'm not surprised he's not going to get suspended because of the situation. They're down 2 nothing, going back. It's dry settle. They didn't suspend Bennett earlier in the playoffs. But he knew what he was doing there. Like, he, he knew exactly what he was doing. And, you know, Barkov was in a precarious position, yet he had the puck. and yeah. But he knew what he was doing. He got him. He got him in the head. I don't know what to make of Barkov moving forward because there really wasn't an update after the game. And today, you know, Maurice just said he's not worse, so that could be a good sign. But Marchand, he had to come out of the series because of protocol. Nylander, we all know what happened there to start the series. Like, if he's in protocol, is it Barkov's choice? I thought I it, don't think so. I, I thought the know. league protocol stepped in is, I, this is. I was talking to somebody last night. And they said they are not announced. You, there's no way you announce concussion. Right, like of course. Can, they don't want to announce Because if you do, that. that's mandatory one week, I believe, right. through protocol. But isn't that yeah. on the league, though, Noodles, to be like, great, we don't care what you want to call it. We Understood. are going to investigate here and figure out what happened to this guy. Understood. And the only thing that would save Grace, because you don't always – a headshot isn't always a con- con- concussion. I thought he looked like he broke his jaw or something. Like that – he was right. holding the right side of his face. You know – I don't know what the the outcome that you hope for. Obviously not concussion because that comes with a, a waiting period. If there's a hairline fracture in his jaw, he can still put a, uh, well, what did he, a bubble on What it. actually hit Barkov's I think face? His, was it his so glove see, or I like think it was forearm here. or his I think elbow. it was the... The outside of his right elbow. Yeah. I don't think it yeah. was. It was because at first forearm. glance I watched it and I'm like, is that really that bad? And then you watch kind of close There's up. There's another like angle you, that doesn't look great. But the, the, that angle, other, it's like that. This looks like a push. But then you kind of get different angles. That angle looks a little tougher. Him. Yeah, he knows what and, he's and, doing. There. And the other thing too is, you know, when you hit skates, come off the ice. Yep. He did launch. He launched like he did push. Now you're trying to hit through a guy. I don't know. If 100% he's like, I'm going to elbow this guy in the face. But you still have to be responsible for your actions. Mm. And, you know, I thought both I, – I don't know how you guys feel. I think both general managers woke up today calling the league, com- complaining about the refs. Because yes. I didn't think the Fogel was – I didn't think that was a five. I, I thought that, that was – That was all reactionary. The way he went down. Mm. I, 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 I thought it looked I, pretty bad, though. Like, that was a knee for but sure. When you, it Is was it a, a knee five? Too, but if know. the guy got up, it's two minutes. I, but, I agree be, with you, and that's kind of what – You go down like that in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and it's like this hurts way worse than it does. Well, and I know he left the ice, and then he did return. But if you stay down like that, the referee's saying that's really bad. Mm-hmm. Well, and it was – I thought it was a Charlie horse because it didn't, it didn't hit his knee. It hit his right. left thigh. Which still, again, but you could argue that Bennett did that on uh, Bouchard, Bouchard earlier in the game. Yeah. Right? If Bouchard lays there, what are you dealing with? Like, it, it's hard. Every hit is different. But I thought, okay, they could have – I love that they call five and then they take a peek at it. But they they didn't really 
take, they took a peek and they were like, "That's a five." Yeah. And, and you're Although gone. Edmonton won the five minute kill, one nothing. Right. Yeah. Which was, like th- that's where I thought. So, hey, okay, they it's announced their night. there's no suspension for Bar. Like there will be no discipline. Yeah, for that's for the Like I don't. I don't think the league makes an announcement on if they're not doing anything. But my understanding is, Carrick got fined for the spear at the end of the game. And that's it. That's the only supplemental discipline, which means Dry Settle's not even getting fined. Like he's not right. even getting on the books to on relive books. that conversation.